Fernamunda is the main port for trips to Berlin, but that is a three hour train ride away. So if you've only got a little bit of time or maybe you just fancy a more relaxed day, it is worth exploring in its own right. It's a popular holiday spot for Germans and it sits right at the mouth of the River Marnau. Now it's an operational fishing port and you can spend your day lounging in the sands, snuggled up in one of the traditional wicker chairs, which they call uh, Stankorbs. And you can watch the locals flying their kites and walking their dogs. Or, or maybe head to the top of the lighthouse to enjoy some amazing views over the Baltic Sea. And also take a relaxing stroll through Vernamunda's medieval streets. And if you do, call in at St Mary's Church to hear the amazing baroque organ and see the world's oldest astronomical clock. But of course the main draw of this port is to spend a day exploring Germany's capital city. Now the good news is that most of the big sites are in a smaller, more walkable area. So a standard city tour will help you make the most of your somewhat limited time. But you'll get to see the Brandenburg Gate, the Reichstag, uh, the haunting Holocaust Memorial, the amazing new railway station, wait till you see that, and the Berlin Cathedral. More fun options could include maybe eating a, a Wiener Schnitzel in a backstreet bolt hole or having a shot of the infamous Green Fairy, as it's called, in an absinthe depot. But for me, the first time I went, I went straight to Checkpoint Charlie uh, to experience the, the amazing story of the Berlin Wall itself, the escapes, and of course, its eventual historic destruction. And the quirkiest and best tour option is to take a tour of uh, the east side of Berlin from behind the wheel or, or as a passenger of one of these little tiny Trabant cars. It's the architectural GDR um, car and, and, and is now pretty much extinct. It looks like a motorised sardine can and live commentary is piped into your car uh, from a guide car which is driving at the front. You kind of drive in convoy and you can choose from a variety of colours. It really is magical. Uh, and the weird thing is, is that you don't feel like a tourist as you're doing it, you do feel like you're really getting to see uh, the real Germany, the real East Germany. Enjoy.